adequately enough so that they feel they're being rewarded and would have the incentive to remain doctors. The question is, are doctors compensated adequately so that they would feel uh, they're well rewarded for their skills and their responsibilities? It varies, again, from country to country. In Scotland, when I was there several years ago, the doctors were salaried, and their salaries were very modest. They were comparable to the salary of teachers. And um, the doctors were complaining at that time because of that modest thing. When I asked the physicians what their biggest problems were with their National Health Service, they said the brain drain. And I said, what do you mean by that? They said our well-trained physicians, we get them 10 years of training and it's all paid for by the government, so they graduate debt-free, but many of the young physicians after finishing their residencies decide to go to another country to live and work where they can earn more money and work fewer hours. The Scottish physicians work an average of 60 hours a week. They have a full schedule in their office doing primary care, and they also make house calls. And um, the modest salary was festering and causing great discussion. And the time I was there, they had agreed to allow pri the government-employed physicians to see private patients one day a week, and they could double their income by doing that. So that's how they resolved that. Um, most of the countries, such as Canada, the physicians are all in private practice, except in the remote territories where they have salaried positions by the government, like the far northwest um, and northeast. Private practice, publicly funded, is the most common model. So most doctors would be able to make a reasonable living under a universal health plan. They could work as many hours as they chose. There would be standard reimbursement for the services delivered. But it would be prompt, and they wouldn't have to hassle and struggle and resubmit claims in order to try to get paid for the services they do. So the net income probably would be very similar to what we have. Our high-paid specialties might earn somewhat less because I think there's a wide disparity between the in inadequate reimbursement our primary care physicians get versus the special, high-paid specialties and super specialties where they get very generous reimbursements. So we would need to revise that to make it more fair. Um, in Canada, the take-home pay is comparable to, into the, U to the U.S. As a matter of fact, there are more physicians moving from the U.S. into Canada today rather than vice versa. Their office overhead is much less than ours because they have a single plan that's comprehensive that covers everyone for the same thing and the same fees. So um, you could have a private office in Canada and have an office nurse and one clerk, and that would be all you would need, so your overhead would be less. And even though the reimbursement for services is less, at the end, the take-home pay would be comparable.